In this tutorial, we will be learning about rational function equations and points of discontinuity. Points of discontinuity are points in a function that are not continuous. They are often referred to as a whole and drawn using a circle. When writing an equation of a rational function that has a point of discontinuity, a factor representing the location of the discontinuity is added to both the numerator and denominator. Consider the following example. There is a factor of x minus 3 in both the numerator and denominator, and a point of discontinuity included in the graph of the function at x equals 3. An important point to know is that when you have the same factor in the numerator and denominator, it always represents a point of discontinuity and never an x-intercept and a vertical asymptote. This makes sense when we think about it a little more, as you could never have a function that crosses the x-axis and has a vertical asymptote at the same x-value. In the following two examples, write a possible equation for the rational functions. Pause the video, write your equation, and when you are ready, press play again. First, we see that there is a point of discontinuity at x equals 1. Therefore, we begin our standard rational function and then add a factor of x minus 1 to both the numerator and denominator. In the second example, you are asked to write a possible equation for a rational function with points of discontinuity at x equals negative 3 and x equals 2. Again, starting with our standard equation, we then add in factors for each point in both the numerator and denominator. x plus 3 for the point of discontinuity at x equals negative 3, and x minus 2 for the point at x equals 2. In this lesson, you learn that to add a point of discontinuity to an equation of a rational function, you add a factor of its location to both the numerator and denominator. 